in today's adventure we're in Hamner uh, we're going to head up and do the Severin to Sedgemere track so we're going to head over Jack's Pass uh, stop in at Akron uh, campsite meet up with some friends there and then head up to Severin River uh, and then we're going to jump onto the track across to uh, the other road and then uh, back onto Hamner so the weather's a wee bit drizzly at the moment but uh, hopefully it's going to clear up in at the Acheron campsite, picked up our uh, another member for our convoy and uh, we're just heading up the rest of the road to the uh, start of the track at the Severn River. We've just come up to the start of the trail, so the track, sorry. Um, this track's only open, I think it's from the 5th of January through to about mid-February, end of February. Um, yeah, so it's only open for a couple of weeks a year, so you just sort of got to get in and do it while it's open. Um, they do close it, yeah, like I said, mid-late February, but also weather depending if it gets too dry or uh, if it gets too muddy and wet, they, I think they close it up. So yeah, just get in and do it when it's open. So I've never done this one before, so it should be a bit of a, a, bit of a drive. Um, it says it is semi-maintained, so hopefully not too bad, but uh, we'll give it a whirl and show you what it looks like along the way. Yeah, the road, really good condition. A few muddy potholes here and there, but nothing, uh, nothing too extreme. So yeah, we're gonna check out the hut and then uh, head on through. Probably have lunch at the uh, at Lake Tennyson, and then we're gonna check out Mailing's Pass this afternoon. I think.
we've uh, just finished up lunch, so um, through the siege meter across uh, Island Saddle, 1300 and something metres above sea level. Pretty impressive uh, climb and great views from the top. So yeah, we just pulled into Lake Tennyson for a quick bite of lunch and then uh, we're back off again. We're going to head down the road a wee bit and duck into Mailings Pass. It's a really awesome drive, just a wee in and out track. Um, you just need to go on the dock website and uh, register your vehicle and your name. It costs nothing to do and they email you back almost immediately with a code for the gate. And then, uh, yeah, so we're just going to pop in and out of there, have a quick look, and then uh, we might, depending on how time goes, we might go Edwards Pass as well. Again, you need a permit for that one, but uh, yeah, we'll give you an update once we get uh, on the track. up mailings pass there pretty cool trip or pretty cool track sorry um, if you're in the area definitely uh, fill out the form online and check it out it's definitely worth the drive um, yeah so we'll just come down uh, top house road just gonna pop in and check out the hot pools finished up at the Cast Stream Hot Springs. Um, yeah, well worth the stop in. It's, a trip. it's definitely uh, a lot warmer this time than last time. 
and the uh, the stream itself was a lot warmer as well so not sure whether that's time of year or global warming maybe you're just hoping um, so from here we're just gonna um, pop back to the main road uh, we're gonna leave the other two guys behind they're gonna camp overnight I think they're gonna head up to maybe Scotty's hut and hang out there for the night uh, yeah but we're gonna head home We'll catch you on the next one. Yep, this is it here. I wouldn't use that seat. People have had sex on it, so... Have they now? Yeah. How do we know this, uh, Jeremy? <laughs> Intuition. <laughs>